All right, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Path of Exile video here. We are uh, progressing through red maps right now. And this map, we're going to have uh, a lot of tormented spirits. There should be uh, seven rogue exiles. You can see the mods here. Should be, uh, you know, an overall decent... Oh, man. Interesting map. Um, just, oh, my gosh. Oh, dang. So, yeah, these exiles are... Uh, Pretty jacked. They're kind of on steroids, to be quite honest. But yeah, oh goodness, I don't even know what those were. So like dinosaurs or something. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm hoping, uh, hoping we can get through this without, like, ripping, but... Oh, I think those are the, uh... Oh! Jeez. Oh my gosh, there's just a lot of damage. I hate it when they get um, extra damage as cold. And I basically got, with this flask, I have 87% uh, all resist. So the, the incoming damage here is no joke. Ooh, I don't think I can take that. Oh. I think if we take that extra fire damage, like, one hit is gonna just instantly kill me. scared to do this shrine. I think the biggest danger here is if I run into like multiple exiles at the same time. Especially if it's a possessed exile.
I forgot I'm cursed with vulnerability too. <laughs> sure these uh, ritual altars are gonna kill me. I'm gonna be fighting like... Oh man, I think there's like multiple rogue exiles in here with this boss. Oh, there's not. Alright, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, I mean, the build is still going um, pretty strong. I have uh, got a couple new pieces of gear here that I will show you. Um, man. Fortress totems, okay. That was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Definitely want that. Darn, I thought there was a 
Legion in here too. Not a whole lot, not much in here that's actually worth getting. There was a legion, okay, I wasn't just imagining that. Glad I decided to check. So now you can kind of see how this build really shines for the legion. So that was one of the more, um, like, actful maps I've done with this character so far. So you can kind of see, um, get a decent idea of the overall strength of the character. Um, I'm specced into, um, Legion four maps and you can kind of see why from that little that uh, that run there um, I'm able to just quickly very quickly blow up uh, like everything just get a ton of ton of them taken out some you know sometimes all of them second here and we will take a look more detail in and see uh, kind of what uh, what changes I've made 
recently to the build. So this is kind of garbage. Keep your life to your own. And we'll scrub the last couple things in here. All right, so changes we have made to the build um, since my last update. Picked up this chest piece here. Definitely much stronger than the one I had before. Um, I've gotten a few hundred more points of, of life, uh, mostly from this chest piece. And then I picked up a couple of life nodes. So I picked up these here. picked up this with my last level up and then I'll be getting this on my next one um, I picked up these tattoos they're kind of expensive but we did get you know we, we don't need any intelligence so being able to get another 6% chaos resistance definitely is much more valuable than 20 intelligence um, we've got our resist for chaos up to 71 and then a base 82 for all other elements when I pop this flask, which right now it's set to activate um, whenever I hit a rare or unique enemy, if it's not already in effect. Um, so pretty much up whenever I need it, really. Um, and I can still manually activate it. But with, with that activated, I've got 87% to all resist. Um, most likely I'll pick up another basic jewel socket here and try and get a plus two to uh, fire resist, max fire resistance uh, on a jewel with some other, other modifiers that give me 84 and then I could still pick up, you know, another depending 
Um, depending on if I wanted to, um, I could get it to 85 base and then Uh, with that when that flask pops that would take me up to 90 so that's definitely saved me uh, as you can see in that last map almost died a couple times luckily we were uh, able to keep keep it alive there um, even though it was pretty pretty sketchy um, I did go ahead and put a couple of, you know, low tier um, Exarch and Eater of Worlds modifiers on my other gear. So this one worked out pretty decent. Um, 15 attack damage, 8 increased AoE. Um, on here, I've got 6 Fizz damage multiplier and 30% chance to ignore physical damage reduction so with that 30% I now have over 100% chance to ignore physical damage reduction so seems decent uh, this was already like this uh, but yeah that's currently where the build is at guys uh, thanks for tuning in thanks for listening thanks for watching I think it's definitely still a fairly strong build um, especially as a league starter it's been very strong all of my uh, playthrough this league so far just from the very get-go and I have been slowly but surely getting all of my gems to 20% um, started off with you know the main attack skill this is the only one I think that I haven't yet just because it increases the effect of maim and basically I one-shot everything for the most part anyways so it doesn't really matter too much um, but I may you know once I get everything else to 20% oh, have I not got have I not got that to 20% yet okay so there's still a couple more I need to get on that um, got my defensive stuff here pretty much capped at 20 um, this one I definitely would get to 20, it's just like free attack speed as quickly as you can. This one I got up pretty high just to get that more AoE. And then this one will also give it 5% increased effect, so that'll be good to get as well. But yeah, that's what I'm currently working on, getting all these to 20. Um, and just progressing through uh, some of the final boss boss uh you know pinnacle bosses so i'd like to start taking on like the exarch um, and eater, eater of worlds and the maven and then pushing the build a little bit further um, but i think most upgrades from now on are gonna be fairly expensive like i was able to pick this up for like 60 or 80 chaos so that wasn't too bad um and then just finding helmet and like boots and gloves I mean these gloves are probably I, I don't think I'll ever really upgrade these because to find an upgrade is gonna be really difficult the only thing that I could possibly possibly get slightly better here would be a higher HP roll and then like you know, either something besides strength at a higher tier roll or just a higher tier roll of strength. And same thing on these boots here. Not much more that I could get out of that slot. And with the jewelry, like I could possibly get a little bit more life. Um, but not a lot. Not a lot more that I could really get out of that. Like I could, I could re-roll probably the implicits um, definitely on this one you know maybe get a tiny bit more life out of it this one just you know I wish that the I wish this was the strength and dex 
amulet, not the intelligence, because I don't need intelligence for anything. Uh, it's just kind of a wasted stat for my character. But yeah, once again, thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. If you don't mind hitting that subscribe button, really appreciate it. It helps me out. We hit 1,100 subs recently, and now we're going to go for 1,200. So take it easy, guys, and remember to give them the D.